Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers was established on January 22, 2020, on the basis of a sovereign decree from the Order of St. John of Jerusalem, Rhodes, Malta, the Supreme Sovereign Order of Hospitallers. Also in cooperation with Sovereign International Treasury Monetary One, as a successor to the oldest European bank, which was founded by the Templar Knights in 1312. All countries of the world have been informed of the reopening, re-establishment of the World Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers and the readiness to provide resources to every country of the world to get out of the system, financial system, or financial structure they are in today. The World Bank of the Order of Hospitallers, in cooperation with the Sovereign International Treasury Monetary One, prepared various programs for the development of the economic situation, as well as the financial situation in the world. Based on the development of these programs, those programs were also delivered to all governments of the world, as well as to financial institutions, whether they are local institutions or transnational institutions that have something to say in the development of the global financial system, and based on this, we received a large amount of positive reactions, whether it was from state institutions or from various financial institutions around the world, who were primarily interested in the form in which way the World Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers wants to implement the changes that it was preparing and how it wants to transform the current financial system or the fiat financial structure that works in the world into a gold standard. The World Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers is currently the New World Bank, the new regulator of the entire banking system. All the rights, all the assets and all the necessary things to be able to sufficiently regulate and control the financial flows as well as the behavior of the global financial system are already under our control. They are under the control of the Sovereign International Treasury Monetary One. Specifically His Majesty Alexander. These all the assets we are talking about and accesses have been transferred to the World Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers. So that the bank itself can effectively and fairly perform the function it is supposed to perform in the system. The World Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers is first and foremost a systemic bank. A systemic bank means that it controls and regulates, in addition to the resources available to us. Other activities taking place in the global financial system as such. So, first of all, I want to emphasize that, it is a systemic bank that will be connected to other commercial or state banks in other territories in other countries of the world, and in this way it will provide not only resources, but also certain knowledge about how the transition to the gold standard should be implemented. The banking software or system that we were preparing took some time, based on the fact that it was being prepared for the implementation of the RAM1 program and the transition to gold standard. As of today, all modules in the banking software are launched and the bank is ready to provide these banking softwares to all countries of the world. The fiat system is falling apart, its time is running out. The fiat system is not a system. It is some structure that was established, somehow worked at a certain time. All people who understand the processes taking place in the global financial system and the financial system as such understand very well that the fiat structure has lost its justification and the result of the whole program that we had here has led us to the situation that we are in today, which is that we have a world recession and the countries of the world do not have enough resources to pay their civil servants. The situation in the financial system is serious. There is a lot of talk about enslaving people with digital currencies. Cryptocurrencies are coming to the fore as a replacement for the current banking system. 
On Zlata Era, Golden Era, channel, we published interviews about cryptocurrencies, where His Majesty Alexander explained the essence of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin. There you will learn exactly what role Bitcoin plays in maintaining the fiat financial system. The fiat structure loses its justification and the things that could be done in that system, the functions of that global financial system that worked on the basis of which the fiat structure itself was able to exist are disconnected nowadays and the whole structure loses its justification, and therefore we need, not we need, but someone else needs to get into another structure, which is basically nothing but always the same, and therefore fiat, for the reason that the entrance to the crypto world, or let's call it cryptocurrency, is always fiat at the beginning. It is a different form of fiat money, it has its own development, there are millions of dollars in the blockchain that people put into the system for some purpose of profit, but when the fiat structure as such ends, the digital one also ends. First of all, I would like to confirm from the position of the general manager of the World Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers about our readiness not only for Slovakia, where we are currently located, but also for all the countries of the world with which we already cooperate today, we communicate, with which we have been in open cooperation for some time. We are registering a great rush of various requests, invitations from specific representatives of various governments around the world to come, to explain to them how we want to implement the program that we have prepared, the Sunrise Program, where we communicate that we are ready to relieve the countries of the world of debt, so that the countries of the world prepare specific plans, whether they are infrastructure programs or various other projects, various other programs that they already have pre-prepared in their countries. We are ready to provide financial resources. So the procedure is very simple, it is very... Our main task is to bring resources to the whole world and pull the world out of the recession it is currently in. Despite the fact that various system institutions are talking about the fact that maybe we will avoid some kind of recession, soft lending, hard lending, and all these phrases that we have been hearing for quite a long time now. So, we are ready to refinance states, to relieve states of debt. There is not much time left in certain things and the world should be transformed as quickly as possible under the M1 program as well as the transition to the gold standard due to the fact that the functionality and in general the entire capability of the fiat system as we know it today is nearing its end. Based on this, I call upon all countries of the world from the position of the General Manager of the World Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers to enter into communication and cooperation with the World Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers as quickly as possible, as well as with the Sovereign International Treasury Monetary One. Don't be afraid of change. Historically, if we look at the development of society, something has always changed. There were always new models, social, economic. We, as the World Sovereign Bank of the Order of Hospitallers, are not a commercial company. We are missionaries. We have sufficient resources for that, which we can provide you with. The era of the fiat structure as we know it today is coming to an end. And countries that implement the Sovereign International Treasury Monetary One program as well as the transition to the gold standard will be in a significantly better position than countries that do so later. Gain strength not only for yourself, but also for your nation, for which you are responsible, and we are ready to provide all the resources as well as the technical equipment for you to know how to implement the program we offer in the fastest possible way in your country.